at the end of a mini marathon, like a half marathon. Um, I don't know what that would be called, but um, and it's kind of a relief that everything went pretty well. So we just did two shows at Jam and Java. Uh, I did one last night, and then also this afternoon. And then we just did a Patreon live stream here at 9 p.m., which is an unusual time for us to do it, but it was super fun. Um, had a whole bunch of people who can't usually join the live stream joining on the chat, so that was fun, uh, including some folks from the Philippines, which uh, was really great. I really miss the times that I got to play in the Philippines. Those were epic times. I'll have to get back there somehow. Um, and in between, we also did a climate workshop at uh, the venue, Jam and Java. Um, that's Part of the thing that I'm trying to do these days is uh, wherever I can to do a climate workshop in a music venue whenever I'm on tour. And it was super successful. I really love these gatherings of people who come wanting to do more for climate and just needing a little bit of nudge and a little more sense of community to feel like they're um, supported in making that happen. So it doesn't actually take much. I think it just needs to be fun and feel like you're not doing it alone, so um, it was a really nice reason to gather some people prior to a show and to just geek out on composting services and uh, representing your HOA in um, city land use planning meetings or uh, working on you know what it might mean if you're vegan but you also want to you know help other people to do the same or to collect food that might be otherwise be wasted from food markets and get it to food kitchens to serve meals to people who need them. Um, so it was really fun to just talk to people about how do I take the thing that I can do and create a ripple effect to make it even bigger um, and to make it just the world that we live in someday. And that was just such an uplifting way to go into playing a show. And so I really like this way of touring. I hope to certainly do more of it this, uh, for this year. So the next couple shows I have are in North Carolina. Nope, I have one more show in Philly next Sunday, um, and there'll be a climate workshop before that. And then I'm gonna be playing a bunch of shows in North Carolina, and there'll be a climate workshop there. And then over the summer, I'm gonna be going further west into Colorado and California, Oregon, Washington. Um, and that'll be a real joy. And then in the fall, be doing more, I think, a bit on the East Coast and elsewhere, sort of in the um, eastern half of the US. And it's just really fun to be back in this and doing it a little bit differently and getting to see, actually, and really sit with and spend time with groups of you all, um, doing something that collectively will matter for um, our shared future and our shared home. So. It's just been really awesome. Um, and the main thing I think that I really need to figure out is how to stay healthy. <laughs> because having a three-year-old is no joke on the immune system. And I feel like a lot of my shows I've been playing having like recovered from, but having linger lingering effects of whatever toddler bug she's recently given me. So if any of you are vocal health or vocal coaches who have tips for how to keep your sinuses and voice and throat and all that stuff as healthy as possible. Um, I'm doing everything I can based on what I read on the internet, <laughs> but if there are ways that I can make sure that I'm playing the best shows possible while also taking care of myself despite what might be assaulting my immune system at home at any given time. I think that'll be the key for all this stuff, all this wonderful, gratifying stuff uh, coming this coming year. And finally, I just want to give a big thank you to everyone who has bought tickets to shows, despite the fact that I haven't put out new material in a long time and haven't been promoting myself all that much, um, and that you're around and interested. And also a special thank you to all of you who are on this Patreon that I've started um, and are really supporting my ability to focus on this full time and experiment with combining building climate community with um, making music and um, just having it be a really integrated life that I get to live 
hopefully in service of you and uh, service to you in multiple ways. And I guess that's it for now. Thank you for listening. It was a long ramble. <laughs> I'll see you out there hopefully, uh, either virtually or in person.